zero kilobytes free in use? I wonder why. This is a refurbished unit. You can see the serial number and all. This is an 80 gigabyte version. But why is it showing no free space? Because I formatted the internal hard drive to uh, a Linux file system. And I intentionally did that. Now it can be used as a USB external hard drive. It's original intent. Because who uses these things anymore? 80 gigabytes, but when upon discovery, it only has 78.9 gigabytes. Manufacturers tend to round, uh, you know, they tend to always round up the size to the largest available mint, you know, to the largest factor, but it's kind of stupid. In all honesty, I could easily take it out of the take it out of its own enclosure. Battery actually works, surprisingly, even though it rejects all other charges except the Apple Zone, which is stupid. I could take it out and put it in my own Ziff hard drive enclosure. Or I could just leave it in this. This is basically a battery powered, uh, you know, USB external hard drive. Still use the old Apple cable. Surprisingly, I got this free. But regardless, I don't give a fuck. This is just another external hard drive. It's a, sadly, it doesn't show how much space is used on it. Whoops. ISO rating is far too high. If, it act if I actually formatted it to Apple's uh, for file system, you'd be able to see it. But apparently not, so yeah. Oh well, what can you do? I didn't want to do that. Even though HFS Plus is supported in Linux, it's not supported in Windows. And sometimes I use Windows. So This iPod is just an external hard drive now that I format with a Linux file system. I could have done the Windows NTFS one, which, you know, it tends to be a bit messy if Windows wants to fuck it up for everybody. So I could have done that easily, but you know what? I chose not to. And it's completely my option. And so, good riddance to the music part about this. It does not have an FM tuner because I've already tried and failed. So, anyways, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. As far as let's go to music. Doesn't work too well with the cable around it, but whatever. Nothing saying radio, and I tried to actually launch the radio, but it won't fucking work. So what can you do? It's kind of stupid. I'm not about to get a fucking uh, proprietary connector just to use a radio on this thing. Fuck that. I got plenty of FM radios around the house. AM, FM, and shortwave. Anyways, thanks for watching. Formatted the external storage device, and it's not detected by the actual device at all. Whoopity doo.